We're not going to Cork or York. We're going outside. Woo! What's up, everybody? My name is Charlie. Today, we're talking about curveballs. A curveball is a baseball pitch that dives down at the very last second, and if it's thrown correctly, makes the batter look like a straight-up fool. But how exactly does a curveball curve? Well, to find out, I teamed up with my friend Patrick, and we did a little investigating. We hit up the baseball diamond, took some measurements, made some very scientific observations, and figured it out. It's all physics. When a pitcher throws a fastball, it has backspin. But when they throw a curveball, something else happens. When a pitcher throws a curveball, they grip the baseball with both their index and middle finger along one seam and their thumb on the bottom. When they throw this pitch, they cock their hand at the top of their motion and drag their fingers in front of the ball. The baseball basically rolls out of their grip, spinning forward, the exact opposite as a fastball, which spins backwards. As a curveball travels towards the catcher, it maintains this front spin. And the Magnus effect comes into play. The Magnus effect. It's physics. Okay, so basically it's all about that front spin. If a curveball is traveling in this direction, air is moving past the ball in the opposite direction. So if we take a look, we can see that because of the rotation, the bottom of the ball is moving in the same direction as the air, but the top is moving in the opposite direction. The top of the ball is fighting against that airflow, resulting in an area of high air pressure. The bottom of the ball is assisting in the airflow and creating an area of lower air pressure. The result of the difference in air pressure is a force dragging the spinning ball downward from high to low air pressure. So the baseball is kind of being pushed or dragged down by that force which is called the Magnus force. So here's the curve formula. So a curveball experiences a downward Magnus force. And remember, gravity is acting on it too, just like it acts on pretty much everything on Earth. So you add these together, and what you get is a massively curving path, a swing and a miss, the better looking silly, a victory, five World Series rings, and a $20 million contract. Yeah, it's pretty much that easy. I wish everybody knew this stuff. And here we are, Jim, one pitch away from winning the World Series. Moments like these are why we watch sports, Bill. You said it, Jim. Charlie peers in for the sign. And here's the pitch. Oh, he got him! What a curveball! Did you see that Magnus Force? And it's a gravity in the better head Oh shoes. my goodness. It's a miracle. No, it's physics. Game over. We won the series. We won the series. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Thanks for watching this video, guys. How can you apply physics to sports? Kicking a soccer ball? Shooting some hoops? Professional hot dog eating? They're totally athletes. Catch us next time when more cool stuff happens. My name is Charlie, and on behalf of my wonderful friends, we'll see you outside. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Woo! Click here to subscribe and here to check out our Patreon page. If you'd like to see another episode of Going Outside, click over here and click over here for more World by Charlie stuff. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.